TikTok live streamers, it's been a while since I've shown you some love. So today, just for you, I have two overlays that you can slap on your live streams to make them look better. I'm gonna spend the whole video showing you how you can customize it to really make it yours. And of course, I'm able to create stuff like that for you for free thanks to today's sponsor, which we're gonna jump into and then we can begin. I've been yapping about Owned Pro for a while now, but now they got something new, a stream overlay maker. On the left, under stream design, you will see scene builder. And the choice here is kinda wild. Owned is known for having the biggest library of overlays on the internet. So let's pick this one. You get a preview of what it looks like. You can see your scenes, your alerts, your camera overlays. You're starting soon screens, your stinger transitions, and just click create scenes. Congrats, you have five scenes already created for you. Let's quickly edit the text by clicking on it. And this is the scene builder with a lot of options. This text seems to be in that folder. And now I can type whatever I want. Nice. Now click save and copy the overlay URL. In your broadcasting software, you want to add a browser source, paste the link that you just copied and adjust the size. We know it's 1920 by 1080 and click OK. Congrats, it was that easy to create your starting soon screen. Do the same with the rest of the scenes and your complete setup can be done in 10 minutes max. OwnPro offers a gazillion more options, but I'll let you check it out by going to own.gg slash pro. That is O-W-N-3-D.gg slash pro. All right, so the very first step is to go to photop.com and then you're gonna come here and click on templates. From there, click on the search bar here and type my name. There you go. And you will see TikTok Live Gaming Overlay and then TikTok Live Overlay Template and you can choose whichever one you want. Let's start with the Overlay Template. So once you click on it, it's gonna open up and this is what it looks like. And up here, we're gonna have the spot for your camera and at the bottom for your gameplay and vice versa. You can switch it up if you want. In the middle, you actually have a spot for your follower goal or your gift goal or whatever type of goal you wanna display in like TikTok Live Studio. Of course, from PhotoP, you can add some text. You can click on T here and then click somewhere on the canvas and type your name. You just need to make sure that your layer is going to be on top of everything else. All right, from there, I can control Alt T or Control T, put it there, put it wherever, and all that. But anyways, first of all, what if you don't like the colors? All right, you're gonna see something called color change here with a blue label. You can turn that on. You're gonna see it's already changing the color, but you can double click on that icon and play with the hue. It can be any color you want, just any color you want. You can also play with the saturation if you want it to be less vibrant or even more vibrant. So it can be any color. Cool. But what else? You can also go in and actually turn off certain parts. For example, the little diamond shapes here. Maybe you don't like that. You can just turn that off right there. Boom. There we go. Way simple. There's a little bit of glow that's going to actually appear on top of your camera and uh, on top of your gameplay a little bit. If you don't like that, you're going to see something called top glow. Turn that off or turn that back on. Basically, you have access to everything. But there's also something called drop picks here. And this is a folder. It currently has nothing in it. And the reason why this one is called like that is because you can actually pick, I don't know, a cool wallpaper, a cool image that you like. Of course, what you do with the copyright is your responsibility. I am doing this for demonstration purposes. But let's say there's an anime that you really like and you would like to, I don't know, showcase it on that overlay. Let's copy image here. I'm gonna go click on the folder here and with the move tool selected, that's V or just click on the little thing here. I'm going to press control V to paste. Then I can press control minus to zoom out and uh, control alt T or just control T to kind of play around with the size and things like that, okay? Maybe it doesn't really fit, maybe it doesn't really match. That's fine, you can just find another one. Copy this. Maybe that one's a little better. Now, if you don't like the way it's showing, it's because the group is actually in overlay mode for the blending mode. You can set it to normal, you know, if you want to, but I think overlay is fine or at least soft light is also pretty good. That doesn't stop you from changing the color while you have it here. So boom, you can still change the color. It can still be whatever color you want, okay? Maybe uh, red orangish would match more. I don't know. So you decide. All I know is once you're done customizing it, just turn off the background. Okay, make sure you have a transparent background here. You're gonna go to file, you're gonna go to export as, and then PNG, okay? From there, you can name it or whatever, click save, name it here, save it, then open up TikTok Live Studio. And um, this is basically what it's supposed to look like. Hi, <laughs> let's create a new scene so I can show you. We're gonna pick general here, so it will add a camera, 
your alerts, a follower goal, and a display capture. So click add. It will add all that stuff. We can already move this down because we know it's going to be a little bit down here. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, nice. Now we're going to go and click add source from here. Go to image from here. Click add, select the file and find the file wherever you saved it. Okay, click open and it's going to look like small, but that's fine. We can just drag top right corner like so and bottom right corner. There you go. Now that the image is here, you know you don't want to move it around. So we're going to go to image here. We're going to lock it. Boom. We usually want the alert to be on top. Okay, just to make sure this is pretty important. Let me switch up my camera real quick. So now what I can do is pick my camera and move it around and fit it. You can see it's like almost fitting. You want to scale it up a little bit by dragging the corners. Just like that. The display capture, we're going to grab that. And same thing. We're going to make it fit. And then we have that goal that it added. Mine is a little bit customized and we can drag that and put it here. There it is. If you want to change the color of the goal, well, you should know this from TikTok Live Studio. You can click on settings, go to appearance and uh, change it here. There it is. The icon is something that you choose also. The display capture is where your gameplay is going to be. Also, this makes it super easy to actually switch it up. Let's say you don't like this anime anymore. We can go back to photo P, remove this. Find something else you're a fan of. Again, depending on what you plan on doing with this. Think about copyright, okay? This is not my responsibility. And I can adjust it just so we can see her eye like that. Boom, press enter, export as PNG, save. Nice, okay? So we already had it and it's already in place. So what I'm gonna do is go to image, go to settings, click on that little cloud, double click on that new one. And there it is. Now my goal doesn't match. I can go to the settings, appearance, and pick a color that will match better. Click apply and boom, there it is. <laughs> there it is. And that's for the main overlay. The thing is, it's very customizable. All right, let's get the other one. We're gonna go to photop.com, go to templates, type my name in the search bar. And we're going to find TikTok Live Gaming Overlay. So this one is for people who don't want to use their cameras, their webcams. All right. So click on this again. And this one is uh, a little bit different, a little more in your face. It has a bunch of text that you can customize. So you can see it says your name here. It says thanks for watching. And then you have two panels where you can put whatever text you want. You can also remove them if you don't want it. But basically, if you're not using a webcam, boom, your gameplay is going to be in the middle. Then you have space for text to say whatever you want. Your name, you're going to see it's blue right there. All the text is going to be blue here. You can double click on the T to type your name. Just like that. It's going to be that easy. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching. Same thing. You can modify that at the bottom. You're going to see a group that says more where you'll see social panels. You can turn that off, turn that back on. You can expand it and actually have access to everything. Shape three and shape four. Those are social medias. This one is X. This one is the Instagram logo. And then you'll find Instagram again. You can double click and type your name in there. OK. Very simple. Then you have the bolts and sparks. Those are like <laughs> the decorations. You can turn them off individually if you want to. Absolutely up to you. And once you're done, just like the other one, you want to go to file, export as PNG, save, and then name it. Gamer. Boop. All right. And for this one, it's going to be a little bit different on TikTok Live Studio. Let's add a scene. Since we don't want the camera, we mostly want the gameplay. We're going to do the same thing, but we're just going to delete the camera once we add it. All right, so boom, it adds everything. I'm going to click on this. It's probably not going to find anything if you don't have a webcam connected. I'm going to click on delete. Boom, there you go. I'm going to add a new source and it's going to be an image. Click add, select file and gamer right there. Drag top left, drag top right, bottom right. What am I saying? <laughs> And, um, and then lock it, lock it right there. Now you can keep the goal if you want it. If you don't want it, you can put it on top of the gameplay or you can put it on top of the actual image that you just added. You can put it here. Display capture is gonna be our display capture. We're gonna drag it up until it fits. And finally, we have our alert that is floating somewhere transparent. We want also, 
We also want that to be on top of our goal or image, sorry. And we're going to put it all the way up there in the middle. So it's barely visible. The goal is sticking out a lot because that's not the right color. So let's go ahead and make it blue. All right, that's how you do it. <laughs> It is just uh, that simple and you're ready to go. Now I have another video full of tips and tricks on how to use TikTok Live Studio. And I believe I mentioned something called Tickfinity that allows you to have like channel points, to have a bunch of rewards, to have crowd control where your TikTok audience is affecting what's happening in your video game. When you have specific sounds for specific alerts, for a specific amount of gifts, for specific types of gifts. And honestly, if this video does well, I might make another video on a super advanced TikTok Live Studio setup. Would you like to see that? Like subscribe, share, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. Go out there, make me proud, get level.